There's lots of places you can buy lumber for the woodworking projects like the ones we build on this channel. In this video, we'll take a road trip with Miss 731 all the way to Little Rock. It's about an hour and a half drive. We'll go to the big box stores, Home Depot, Lowe's, check out their lumber selection. I'll tell you where I buy my lumber as well as where you can buy lumber online. Let's go buy some future sawdust. How you doing? I'm Matt with 731woodworks.com. Today, we're gonna to talk about where to buy lumber. We're talking construction grade lumber as well as hardwoods and lumber online. If you're new to this channel or have not subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click all so you don't miss any of the new content we've got coming. Go ahead and hit the like. Go ahead and share it with your friends. I would appreciate it. I had a lot of comments on the gifts for Woodworkers Buyers Guide video that I wasn't wearing shoes in the shop, even though this is the studio when I'm videoing. Or it could be the shop if I'm making woodwork. Anyway, got my shoes on today. Let's roll. You'll want to stick around later in the video. I'm going to open up this mystery box of hardwood lumber that I bought off Amazon. See what kind of lumber we get. You'll want to see that. Also, don't forget about the power tip we got coming. I wanted to go to the big box stores. Most people call Home Depot and Lowe's the big box stores, which is what I'll refer to them for the rest of this video. So I wanted to go to the big box stores and get some footage on the type of lumber they have available for woodworker projects. We're talking pine. Uh, they do have some hardwoods in store as well as some plywoods. Miss 731 agreed to go with me, so off we went. It takes about an hour and a half to travel from Monticello to Little Rock, Arkansas. It's no small feat just to go to a place like Little Rock uh, from Monticello because it takes about an hour and a half to drive up, hour and a half back, so that's three hours out of your day. And if you're just going to buy lumber, it takes the day to go up there and back. Luckily, we have local stores here where I can buy lumber. We love to travel together because we love spending time with each other. Uh, if we're apart, we're always texting each other saying, I miss you, even if it's in the next room. So being able to travel up there together is just a treat for us. God has truly blessed our marriage. We've been together for 21 years, married 20, been together 21. And to this day, we love spending every minute we can with each other. We always end up having a lot of great conversations on the road trips. And on this one, it was no different. She got to tell me all about a lot of good stuff and I got to listen. Boy, do I listen a lot. I probably should edit that out and not put that in there. If you don't see any videos from me in a couple of days, send help. That didn't go over well. I'm just kidding. No, send help. Just don't show her that part. We'll be all right. So what's awesome about going to the big box stores is they usually have a lot of lumber on hand. So you get a lot to choose from. Problem is a lot of it is warped, twisted, bent, split, and it's just defective and you can't use it. You can usually find a few good boards to use, but you may have to dig through 200 boards just to find five that you're really gonna use. Well, one great thing about the big box stores is a lot of times they have a good selection of half inch as well as three quarter inch sanded plywood, which is hard to find local. That actually made me think of a story you wanna hear. It. So it's one time I go to Lowe's in Pine Bluff, which is about an hour drive from me north. I go there, I buy some plywood. I got four or five sheets of sanded birch. Pay for it, wheel it out, a loading awning, and go to load it in my truck. And this guy comes up to me. He's like, hey, you want some help? I thought he worked for Lowe's. He, looked, he was dressed like he worked for Lowe's. We start loading the plywood. We get it all loaded up. We get it all strapped down. And he goes, hey, uh, I don't work here. I'm like, uh, okay. And he's like, I just wanted to help you load this. Hopefully that you would just give me some money for food and that kind of thing. So I gave him some money because he worked for it. The fact that the guy worked for it and then asked, I thought that was awesome. So after this long trip, traveled up the main roads, up the interstates, uh, had a lot of good conversation, and we finally made it to Home Depot. Pull into Home Depot, we go in. Of course, you can't go to Home Depot or any other big box store without checking out the tools. So we window shop, I window shop, all the way through Home Depot, and then we went to the lumber section. Actually, Home Depot surprised me a little bit in this in this instance because they actually had a, quite a few decent boards. Of course, it, I didn't buy anything, I was just kind of window shopping the lumber, and but I did find that they had a lot of good selection. And I probably could have picked out some great boards from there. Of course, they did have some bowed and twisted and bent. And you can see those on the rack because you'll notice that they'll it'll kick up the boards above them and there'll be a gap there. So you know it's probably not the one you want. So after perusing around Home Depot for a little while, we went over to Lowe's and checked their selection out. Of course, we're going into Lowe's. We pull up in the parking lot. We walk in. The first thing we see... Now, this video was filmed in September. Well, the footage was filmed in September when we went to Lowe's or Lowe's and Home Depot. September, they already got the Christmas stuff out. And if you know Miss 731, you know she's gonna check those out. She loves Christmas decorations and I love that she decorates. We check out some trees, she checks out a reef. Check that out, boy. That is a beautiful woman. I am a very lucky man. She checks out that reef and look at that. Mm. Mm. I am a lucky man. I love that woman. So we made our way over to the lumber, well I did. I think she stayed in the Christmas decorations. Anyway, I made my way over to the lumber and boy, did I find some doozies here at Lowe's. I could have bought enough material to make a hundred rocking chairs at this place. Everything looked like it was warped and bowed. Uh, I didn't say everything. There was some good selection of lumber there, but a lot of it was warped and bowed. 
And so I probably, if I was buying that day, would have went with the Home Depot selection versus the Lowe's just because I saw a lot of that stuff that's bowed already just sitting inside the store. And when, if I brought it home and put it in the garage and started to work with it in a few days, you can imagine what's gonna happen. It's gonna be bad. Now Lowe's, I didn't see any Home Depot. They probably have it. I, I didn't actually go looking for it because I knew Lowe's had it. Lowe's has some other species of wood other than just pine that you can build with. If you find the section, they've actually got cedar, red oak, that sort of thing. The problem with buying hardwoods and other that other species of wood at Lowe's, it is extremely expensive. I mean, bad. So if I was looking for hardwoods, unless I was in a dire need for a board, I would probably steer clear of that because it is insanely expensive. You can find other hardwoods like this uh, much cheaper, even online. There's no trip to the big box store that is complete until you get through window shopping every single tool that they have available on display. You gotta pick it up. You gotta touch it, you gotta look at all angles, you gotta see the attachments that go with it. And of course, Miss 731s was nothing but supportive. Look how patient this woman is. Of course, when you do that, when you go window shopping on your side, you gotta take her window shopping on her side, right? So, so we go to a, a store called The Painted Tree, I believe the name of it is. It's basically a marketplace. Tons of booths selling all kinds of items, handmade items, uh, clothing items, you know, home decor items. We have one of these places in our home called The Marketplace, I talked about it on my how to sell woodworking video. If you wanna go check that out. It's basically a consignment shop. You rent a booth, which gives you a storefront, and then you can put your items for sale in there. It's not a bad idea if you have the inventory to stock one of those and start making sales that way. I even saw there was a booth in there. Uh, somebody had a table set up as well as some other woodworking items. Uh, the only problem I see with their booth, if I was giving them constructive criticism, is I would have staged the mess out of that booth. I would have made it look like a home or a dining room. If I'm gonna put a dining room table in there, we're gonna have placemats, we're gonna have chairs around that thing. When somebody looks at it, they can visualize that table in their home. That would probably help the sale. Same thing if you're, if you're making home decor items that go on the wall or on uh, end tables or whatever, you're gonna to wanna to stage those items just like we talked about in a previous video. And of course she gets to window shop her items and we go to a booth that she's really interested in and she starts looking at decor and I am so patient just to return the favor. I'm so patient, I'm just standing there being so patient. Uh, supporting her shopping as, as we should, but she supported my shop, so here I am supporting hers. So one of the best things about having to make a big trip to come to the big box store is we get to eat at Bonefish Grill. It's really good. If you're ever in Little Rock, give it a try. Now, if we're talking about where to buy lumber locally, and that's where I buy the majority of my lumber, I have a store called Barton's and one called Allied. Uh, Barton's is a small chain here in South Arkansas. They sell hardware, plumbing, and lumber. The great thing about uh, Barton's is they have sanded plywood, red oak and birch, which I use a lot of on this channel, as well as spruce, number one, or appearance grade or paint grade, depending on your store, what they call it, uh, spruce lumber. That's my one by sixes, my one by fours, things like that. If you check out the last couple of videos where we built the coffee table and the end table all out of one by sixes, that was all spruce and all of it come from Barton. And the great thing about Barton's is they know me there, so they know that I'm gonna pick out the lumber that I want and they allow me to do that. I just, just like if you were at home, Home Depot or Lowe's, you go and just select the lumber that you want and load that up and, it's, and you're golden. Uh, they have a, a good selection starting at like eight foot all the way up to 16 foot lumber. So you have plenty of selection. They got one before all the way to one by 12s, I think, in spruce. They also have some two by material in pine, but I mostly buy all of my spruce there at Barton. Allied is, as far as I know, is the only one around that's locally owned and I buy all my two by material there because they have number one grade pine. My two by fours, my two by sixes on the DIY vanity build a few weeks back, that's where I bought the two by material for that build because they have number one grade. Most of their number one grade lumber is good and straight, has few knots in it. It's not split, it's not warped, it's not twisted. They select the lumber, however, when they bring it out to me, they show me the board. If I don't want it, they'll exchange it for one that I do. 
So those guys also help me out a lot and I appreciate it. It's always a good idea to support your local businesses if you can. So if you're looking for construction grade type lumber in your area, whether it be sanded plywood or the pine, spruce, things like that, a lot of the projects on this channel are made out of, be sure to shop local first. You'll typically find better lumber uh, than you do at your big box store. So you'll just search your town's name, lumber or your town's name lumber and hardware things like that should be able to find something if your town is of a decent size this town's 10,000 population and we have two suppliers so most towns should have them if not you're gonna have to stick with the big box store and hope for the best be sure to comment below where you buy your lumber and supplies that way other people can maybe read that and be able to use that advice now if you're looking for hardwood lumber there's a lot of places you can buy lumber uh, hardwood lumber oak cherry walnut maple that sort of thing the domestic hardwood lumber there's a lot of places you can buy that locally and online there's a local oh, i'm a crooked there's a local sawmill here that i bought a big chunk of walnut it was probably like a six by six by 10 foot piece of walnut on the two quick woodworking projects where I made the Lazy Susan. That walnut was locally grown. I made a couple of mallets out of the walnut and white oak that I got locally. And so there, you can get local lumber but just by searching your town's name, hardwood lumber. It's pretty easy. It may be a sawmill. It may be a lumber store. If it is a sawmill, some will sell to you. And that's what happened here. I just went out there and said, hey, do you have anything I can buy? And the, the owner showed me the pile of walnut and said, pick out what you want. I only needed the one, so I got the one paid him for it. It's actually Actually very inexpensive to do it that way because you're buying straight from the source. Bigger towns like Little Rock, if you're in a bigger area or if you have, if you're in driving distance of a bigger area, if you'll just search that hardwood dealer in your town name, uh, that's how I found Lee Steen Hardwood in Little Rock offer an awesome selection of hardwoods. A lot of it's already planed and milled for you. And if they also have live edge slabs you can buy, it's tons and tons of good selection here. I'll drop a link in the description below to their website. So you can go check them out. Fantastic amount of hardwood you can buy locally. Let's talk about buying lumber online. What's awesome is you can buy two foot, four foot, even sometimes up to 144 inches long hardwood lumber, three, five inches wide. A couple of good places to buy hardwood lumber online is Rockler, woodworkersource.com, as even Amazon has hardwood lumber. Matter of fact, I ordered a box of hardwood lumber pieces from Amazon just to see what we would get just for this video. I haven't opened it yet. It's still sealed, so we're gonna open it together and find out exactly what you get in this box. There'll be a link in the description below to that box of lumber if you wanna buy one for yourself. We'll open it up in just a minute. So Rockler Woodworker Stores both offer domestic and exotic species of lumber. You can buy from quarter inch to three quarter inch thick, three to five inches wide, up to 48 inches long, which is awesome for projects like cutting board, mallets, Lazy Susans, tons of projects you can make just by ordering this type of stuff and then cut it down to the size you need. Very reasonable prices. They go on sale quite a bit. If you keep checking back to their site, you can catch this stuff on sale, get you a good deal on some hardwood. It's a great way to get hardwood lumber to you that's already milled, already dried, ready to go. Uh, Woodworker Source, uh, what I saw on their website, that's the ones where you can get up to 144 inches long. You can get eight quarter lumber, so two inches thick lumber up to 144. Of course, there's some shipping exclusions that apply. I didn't really dig into that too much, but it is out there for you if you need to order and have it shipped. What's great about Woodworker Source, and I think Rockler even offers this too, is called Project Packs. Project Packs, uh, you can just go ahead and buy a pack of lumber ready to go. They got packs for cutting boards, carvings, uh, laser engravings, and even furniture grade wood for packs that they'll sell you in a pack shipped to you and it's ready to, for you to use it on your project. There'll be links in the description below to Woodworker Source, Rockler.com, as well as the Amazon stuff that we talk about. I've also seen a lot of lumber for sale on Facebook. If you go to the Facebook marketplace and just search hardwood lumber, a lot of times I've seen uh, people that have bought it, have it stored or they have it milled and it's stored in their shed and they don't have anywhere for it to go and they'll be trying to sell it. It's a good way to get a pretty decent deal on local hardwood lumber. I actually had a guy uh, contact me when I was looking for some hardwood lumber on uh, Instagram. He was local, he lived right down the road. I appreciate him. He gave me nine slabs of white oak that are like, they are up to 14 inches wide, about 16 foot long, 14 foot long, 40 bucks for nine of them. I still have about six of them out in the shed. I've used those on mallets as well as the Lazy Susan you've seen, some tons of other projects. And this great way to get lumber locally if you just ask for it. Just post it on social media, say, hey, I'm looking for hardwood lumber. Does anybody have any? Somebody may contact you. I have no idea what's in this box. I mean, I have a general idea because I ordered a variety pack of hardwood. I don't know if it's gonna be any good, but we're fixing to find out. Moment of truth. 
I hope it's decent wood. Ready? So it surfaced two sides. A little rough edge right there. Smells like wood. That's somebody tell me what kinds this are because I'm terrible at identifying wood. You drop a comment below and let me know what that is. Is that cherry? Maybe? Somebody comment let me know. I don't know. You tell me. So this is some pretty good stock. I mean, this stuff is not split. It's nice and thick. I'm actually quite impressed with this box of wood. I can make mallets out of this. Cutting boards. That is almost that is a full inch thick board right there. Look at that. It's all right. I mean, <laughs> there's quite a bit in here too. Check it. It's actually quite impressive. Look at that. That's a good wide board there. Uh-oh, I see some walnut. I see walnut. That's almost, it's a six and a half inch wide board. What's that? That's not, ooh, it's heavy. What is that? Maple maybe? Oh boy. Now here's some, I mean, who, why ain't you gonna send me that crap? But, I mean, you never know. I mean, I could use that probably on a mallet. There's some walnut, I think, or purple heart walnut. I don't know, you tell me. Some smaller pieces. There's a lot of good pieces in here though. Oh my goodness. There's another good solid piece. All this is hardwood lumber. I'm actually quite impressed with this variety box. That's awesome. Of course, I think these two little pieces were just filler. Uh, fill these spaces up. Because they're basically, you're putting a puzzle together here. That's, I like that. That's, that's really neat. So I'm actually really impressed with the amount of uh, wood that I got in that box. It's 12 by 12 by six inch tall box. So I know I got some uh, walnut in there. I think it is anyway. I'm terrible at identifying wood. I have this type wood, whatever that is. A couple of different species of wood there. Uh, I, I think maybe three, four different species of wood. I'm almost certain. I don't want to speak out of turn and sound like an idiot, but this feels like maybe cherry or something. Some of it's up to an inch thick. Some of it's about three quarters of an inch thick. So there's tons of projects you can make with the lumber that's in there. Lazy Susans, mallets, different things like that. I got a video on the Lazy Susan if you want to check that out. Thinking about making a mallet video, comment below if you want to see one of those. But there's tons of mallet videos on YouTube. So uh, the market may be saturated there. You know what time it is. Power tip time. So I got a power tip on buying lumber and saving money. Here's the power tip. Ask for the contractor's discount or the professional's discount as Sherwin-Williams call it. I think they call it the pro discount. So Sherwin-Williams, that's where I buy most all of my paints and stains because I like their pro classic line of paints. That's what you see me using almost all of my paints uh, is pro classic brand or pro classic line of paint. It's a good durable paint. And so when I buy from Sherwin-Williams, they give me that pro discount that saves 15 to 20% off the price that can over time that is a lot of money and the way you do that is you just set up an account with them give them your business name mine's 731 wood woodworks so if you have one joe's woodworks whatever your woodworking name is just ask for the discount barton's has a contractor's discount set up an account with them you don't have to put a credit card on file or any of that you just set the account up and when you go in you get that contractor's discount sometimes it's a little bit of a saving sometimes it's a lot but it doesn't matter if it's a little or a lot it all adds up penny saved is a penny earned y'all know i'm cheap i still got my lunch money from the third grade actually i don't i spend it on candy and nintendo games don't forget if you're military you can also get that military discount like at the big box stores they offer that i think it's 10 percent off it's nothing to sneeze at especially when you start buying the bigger tools it's a good discount Hey, if you like this video, click that box right there to go to the next one. If you click that box, you know you're getting that virtual fist bump. I want to thank you for watching. Best way to show support for this channel is clicking and watching that next video. If you have video ideas, drop a comment below. I take the best ideas and make videos out of those. Thank you again for watching. See you in the next one. Click the box.